everybody. So today we're going to make our coffee paint. I have a survey of the things you're going to need. Of course, you can find your version of it, of what you have in your home. So you definitely want to have a hot plate. I'll explain that in a second. Um, you want to have something that you can microwave water in. I'm using the microwave instead of the stove. If you want to use a tea kettle to heat up your water on the stove, that's okay. Just make sure your parents know what you're doing. We want to be safe with this, but you can just heat some water up in a mug or you'll see what I'm going to use in a second. You need to have another container that you're actually going to brew your coffee paint in, okay? Um, and we're not using a coffee maker for this, and I'll explain that in a second. You also want to have something to strain the coffee grounds out of your water, the coffee paint. And I have some plastic containers set off to the side that I can put lids onto. I'm gonna need that in a minute. And then of course my coffee. I have two different kinds of coffee here. I know everyone's got different things in their home. This is just some basic instant coffee that is finely ground. I'm gonna use this for this experiment. Um, this is a tablespoon measure. So you can use a regular spoon and just fill it up. Um, or you can actually use a tablespoon measuring spoon for that you'd use for baking. And I'm gonna make a heavy concentration of this. Normally for a cup of coffee, if you want a strong cup of coffee, you do about two tablespoons worth. I'm gonna do at least three. I might do four for this. Um, because I haven't made this coffee paint with this coffee yet, so I kind of want to make sure that it's extra strong. This coffee actually is very grainy, gritty, big chunks. It was beans that I ground up, but I couldn't grind them up finely. So to make sure that it really makes the darkest coffee possible, when I'm using this stuff, I actually have to grind it up by hand a bit with my spoon, because the more... The smaller the particles, the more contact it makes with the water, the dark, darker that the brew comes out, which is what I want. My goal right now is for a really dark brew. So I'm gonna grab my microwave safe Pyrex uh, measuring cup. I liked this as my container for heating up my water in the microwave because it has the spout. And I did a cup of water, as you can see. So I did four tablespoons of the coffee, the finely ground coffee with a cup of boiling hot water. I just put it in my microwave for a min two minutes and it was boiling hot, so that's all you need. Then I can take my spoon and just kind of stir this, make sure it's really kind of mixing up. And make sure, you know, you notice I put my hot Pyrex dish on a heat proof surface and not straight on the countertop. Let's not make mom and dad mad. Um, so I'm gonna let this steep for just a couple like a minute or two. We just kind of stir it and mix it and it's gonna look like just the darkest, muckiest coffee you've ever seen in your life. You can start to see it as I kind of siphon off some of the liquid. See how dark that's getting? That's what I want. I wanna start with something really, really dark, as dark as I can get it, and then I'm gonna play with this coffee paint. So once I'm happy with this, and just to keep this video short, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to strain it now. You might let it sit for longer. I'm going to just take my strainer. Let's take the spoon out of here. Put it on my dish. And I'm going to pour some of my brew into this container. But then I'm going to reserve some more. And then I'm going to move to the next container. So what I'm doing is I'm going to make three. I might be running out of some liquid here, but that's okay. I want to make three separate containers because I want to be able to play with the value of this coffee paint and control how much water is in each paint. So you can see how dark that is. That's really dark. So I want to be able to, when I start doing experiments, see, well, what happens and how does this look on a piece of paper as I paint with it with just a really dark value of co coffee? But then I'm going to start watering it down. So I have three cups that I can increase the amount of water and dilute my coffee paint in. So that's going to be something I play with and you can play with too. I mean, if you're short on plastic containers, that's okay. I'm going to add a little bit to that one. Um, and maybe you just keep your main brew in one cup. Um, but I would highly recommend you separate it like this to start. Okay, so this is your first step for making your coffee paint. 
have fun with this, guys, and be safe, okay? Make sure mom and dad know you're messing with coffee in the kitchen. All right, have a good one.